So today we are going to learn how we can make an oddly shaped window. So just like this controller here. So let's get started. First thing, we need to define the size of our window. So let's call it 500 by 500. Let's say we want a window that is the same shape as this message pop-up. So let's draw it here. So I had the correct colors selected already. So I didn't have to select it, but I would recommend you select the same blue color. So this defines the shape of the window. So let me save it as window shape. I already had it, so I'm going to overwrite it. Let's duplicate layer, turn the bottom layer off. Now we are going to design our user interface. I want my UI to look orange. So let's select orange color, fill this up with orange color. Let's add another layer, get the middle layer selected. I'm going to put a couple of buttons here. So let's select the outline and solid fill both as black. And let's say this is my minimize button here. And this is my close button here to close the window. So let's add some text. And we want the color of the text, let's say, to be orange. And we say minimize position it. And the second button, let's call it close. Position it, click outside. So that is now these two layers is our actual user interface. So let's save it as passive UI. And now what we need to do is add another layer, select this top layer, and we need to define the buttons so that we haven't defined as yet as active regions. So this was just our user interface. So let's go select blue color, rounded rectangle, and I want The window to minimize whenever I click within this area. And I want the window to close whenever a button is clicked within that area. So let's turn the other layers off. And that gives us our buttons active area. So we call it active UI. Let's say yes and OK. And now that we have got our user interface sorted, let's come to Python and copy this template file for template shaped window. You can download it from the GitHub website, links below. Paste it here. And there are a few changes that we need to make. So the first one being the window title, let's call it message box window you can call it whatever the second thing that we need to do is give it a path to the control positions file that we haven't created yet let's do that now so we are already in the terminal now we need to type in map compy that should bring up this window so we select Window shape first, we want to define it first. We select passive UI. And then if you haven't got a file selected, 
um, or you haven't got a file already. So let me delete it. What you do is right click new text file and let's call it positions. Select it open. Let's open this pop up window. Shift F1 changes the view. Now we defined this window that is within 500 by 500 canvas size, but it's not touching the outside of the canvas. So it's, it's, a, it's a little bit far away or it's not actually touching it. So that's why it's just very clean. It's depicted it correctly. That's good. Now let's right click it and we want to call it window colon message box, for example. Right. Enter or press enter. Close this window. So now we have in this positions file our window defined. So now we need to define the button press areas. So let's run map gimpy again. And now we are selecting active UI and then passive UI once again. And then the same positions file. Let's select it. Now let's press Shift F10. So this is our first button. Let's call it button colon minimize and press enter. Right click on the second button. I've copied it, so I paste it and say close. Let's enter and let's close this window. So now we've got the positions text file sorted. Copy it, it's in the same folder, so we don't need to give it a complete path. I just need to give it with the file name. And also we need to change that because we have called it message window in our positions file. So it has to be the same. So sorry, message box. So we want to call it message box and then the path to the UI. So that's our Passive UI is in the same folder, so I don't have to do it to complete path. Select it all and replace it with the UI file. And now, because we are going to define what these active buttons do. Close button, we defined it as close in the text file. So in the positions text file, that's close. So that's what we want to do here. And then the other is defined as minimize. So this minimize is with S, the other one is with Z. So I've replaced it. Everything's done. Let's run it and see what it does. And sure enough, that gives us a window that is not a regular square window. And the reason why I have close and minimize button defined already in the template is because there is no title window. So there is no minimize or close button there. So if you want to close it, You'll have to put these buttons. You can put it anywhere, it can be any shape. So if I click anywhere outside these buttons, click it, drag it, I can move the window. Whereas if I actually click within this button and try to drag it, it doesn't do anything. Whereas if I click in that button, it minimizes the file.
message box. And here it is down at the bottom left. So if we want to bring it back up again, double click it, that brings it back to the desktop. And if we want to close this window, you just simply press the close button and it closes the window. So that's how we can design any shape windows for our Python application. Now there are some other samples that I've put on GitHub. This being one of those, this was all designed in GIMP, but it looks exactly the same, working exactly the same. So for close and minimize button, I've chosen a round button there and a minus button to minimize it, but exactly the same thing. So you can open these files and check how this project was done. So let's close it. And that's how you do oddly shaped windows for your Python application.